We're set for action at the Sun Bowl in El Paso, Texas. Mother Nature has served up perfect weather for today's game between the Texas El Paso Miners and the Houston Cougars. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here with my partners and fellow football enthusiasts, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. We're at the midway point in the college football season, and we've got a good matchup for you. UTEP has many playmakers on this defense, but there are none bigger than this guy lining up at the free safety spot. Though he's most well known for his great coverage skills, he can also come up and lay some licks as a tackler. Thanks, guys. I'm really looking forward to this one. It's first and 10. Number 25 comes up to the line with three receivers split out wide. Number 25 changes the play at the line. He drops back. He steps up, rolls right. There he goes. He sheds it. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 46-yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. They're calling an audible. Looks to pass. He's looking. They knock it down. Incomplete. He broke that one up nicely. You know, that's just what happens when the ball is just out of reach for an interception. It gets tipped. Second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Miners come out in a double wing. The Miners changing their play at the line. Back to pass. Rolling out to the right side. Catches it. And he's brought down at the 29. That's the arm strength we've been talking about all week, guys. Yeah, and we get a chance to see it again here. Wow, what a throw. From the 29-yard line. First down. UTEP lines up in the double wing. Texas El Paso changing their play. Looking to throw. Looks. And he's going to be sacked. And it seemed like they had no problem getting to the quarterback on that play. Great call by the defensive coordinator to call the blitz. It left the defensive lineman free to get to the quarterback. Second and long. Ball on the 38. UTEP comes out in a double wing. Patriot! Patriot! Here we go! They're changing the play. Back to pass. He fires left side. Incomplete pass. The quarterback saw the blitz and let it fly, but too high. Oh, that rhymes. We've got third and long here. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Cougars bring in the nickel package. The Miners changing their play at the line. Drops back to pass. He throws it. Complete to the 10. And he's tackled at the 8. That ball was thrown into tight coverage. And his kid told us last night if there's an opening the size of a football, he's going to fire it in there. That's just how you did it, right, Kirk? I don't know about that, Scooter. I could throw it, but not like that. This kid has one of the strongest arms in the country. The Miners audible to something else. He drops back. He's going to try and scramble. And now he's going to run. Touchdown, Miners. Wow, now that is what I call a big time. They'll get the ball here at the 28-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Number 25 comes up to the line with three receivers split out wide. UTEP using an audible. First down, look at the throw. 
He zips it out to the right. It's complete. He goes down at the 47. The defense came with a blitz that time. Yeah, but when you blitz a quarterback that is smart as this guy, you've got to blitz him late. And you got to change your defense late. Right, Kirk? That's exactly right. Let's see if they begin to pick up what we're seeing here. Just a little bit of a cat and mouse game out there. Texas El Paso changing their play. Back to pass. The cavalry's coming. And now he's going to improvise. Steps out of bounds at the 36-yard line. And he has a huge game. And I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. The Miners changing their play at the line. Drops back to pass. Looks. Now he tries to buy some time. No one open, so he's going to run. Knocked out of bounds at the 18-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. Yo, nice run and good job to keep the chains moving. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Number 25 calls an audible. They go with the option, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. Well, he just couldn't get much of anything there. No, Brad, he couldn't, and I think the offensive line's going to have to hold their blocks longer than they did on that play. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 19-yard line. The Miners come out in a two-tight end set. The Miners audible to something else. Back to pass. Under heavy pressure. The quarterback had a tough time with a blitz on that one. Well, with this guy, you can't let him stand back there and have too much time to throw the ball. You've got to get a hand in his face. UTEP is up by a touchdown. Texas El Paso changing their play. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Oh, great catch. And did that play ever develop nicely? It's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. Did you see that catch? One hit. The offense will take over at the 18-yard line. First and 10. They'll line up in a double-wing set. Number 25 calls an audible. First down, look at the throw. Moves up in the pocket. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. And he probably should never have thrown that ball. They'll set up shop at the 24. First down, 10 to go. UTEP comes out in a double wing. Big dog, big dog. They're changing the play. Looking to throw. He's going to try and scramble. Deep pass down the right side. They can't connect. Incomplete. It's incomplete, but I like the idea. They're taking shots down the field. It also loosens up the secondary. On defense, you can't afford to put a safety in the box if you're playing a team that goes deep every now and then. He may have changed things up here. Back to pass. Now he's scrambling. He'll take it himself. He gets hit out of bounds at the 35. And a big gain on a quarterback scramble. Easy play there. The receivers run the defenders off, and all the quarterback has to do is run to the vacant spot on the field. And don't forget about the awareness of the quarterback recognizing the coverage and having the courage to tote it downfield. The Miners changing their play at the line. He drops back, looks, throws, and that's his receiver who's wide open. 
And he's brought down at the 29-yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. Try to change the play. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Well, that will move them back five yards. Yep, it's not going to make life any easier on this offense. So the penalty will make it first and 15. some time he's taken off he's knocked out of bounds at about the 29 yard line number 25 gains about five yards on the scramble out of the pocket second and 10 ball on the 29 number 25 lines up under center the miners audible to something else he's looking to pass he's on the run Let's it go on the run. It's picked off. It's the junior. What an interception by the cornerback. I love it. A defensive back with... They'll go to work at the 44. We've got a first and 10. They come to the line in the flex bone formation. UTEP changing their play. They'll throw on first down. Throws on the run. Knocked down. Incomplete. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44. Number 25 is lined up under center. Texas El Paso using an audible. Back to pass. Now he's scrambling. Nobody covering the tight end, and he's got it. Boy, does this kid have an arm or what? Are you kidding me? It looks like he has a rocket launcher attached to his shoulder. First and 10. Ball on the 32. They line up in the shotgun. Three wide. The Miners audible to something else. Looking to throw. He's rolling right. Can't find anyone open. They'll bring him down. At about the 17-yard line. They'll get the first down. The reason why he got so much room to run was because the defense didn't contain him. Yep, Coach, he made the correct decision to tuck it and go. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. UTEP will take their first time out of the half. Texas El Paso lines up with two wingbacks. They're in the flex bone. UTEP changing their play. Back to pass. He rifles it. Got him again. They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. That's one of the things that can happen if the defense brings extra guys to rush the quarterback. The offense will have favorable matchups to get the ball downfield. And this kid is talented enough to see those receivers. It's not easy to get the ball past those big bulldozers when they're flying right at you. Big dog, big dog. He may have changed things up here. Pass. Rolls to the right. He's scrambling. Touchdown, UTEP. So the quarterback decided to improvise and took it in for the touchdown. This is why this guy is such a special player. This is what makes the offense even more difficult to stop. When a quarterback can take it himself and run, that's just one more weapon the defense has. The offense will start at the 29-yard line. Texas El Paso lines up in the double wing. The Miners audible to something else. 
Looks to pass. Scrambling around. He'll take it himself. He's out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. About eight yards there on the scramble. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Number 25 lines up under center. UTEP using an audible. Back to pass. Now he's scrambling. He's under some heat. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. And he gets a big gain on the run. Good awareness here by the ball carrier to step out of bounds and conserve some clock. They line up at the 48. First down. The Miners line up in the flex bone offense. UTEP changing their play. They'll throw on first down. Looks. He's taken off. He goes out of bounds at the 35-yard line. And he manages to get out of bounds after that run. Good running here. He manages to get to the outside and gets a nice pickup. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Texas El Paso comes out in the shotgun. UTEP using an audible. Looking to throw. He scrambled. There he goes. Here's an opening. He's out of bounds at the 22-yard line. A big gain for the quarterback. I'll tell you what, guys. This guy's pretty athletic. Just like you when you played at the old Buckeyes, Steve. I don't think this was a design play, but it worked like it was. And you're right. If I'm the coach, I'd let this kid run it more. They're changing the play. He drops back, scrambling around, and now he's going to run. Out of bounds at the 16. He gained a good six yards on that scamper. Gain of six on the play. It's second and four. Texas El Paso comes to the line with three wide. UTEP changing their play. Drops back to pass. Looks to the end zone. Number one was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up third down. So it's third down now, and the offense needs about four yards to pick up the first down. Texas El Paso is going with a flex bone offense. Number 25 doesn't like what he sees. He drops back. Now he tries to buy some time. Touchdown, UTEP! Number 25, a little bit slow to get up, but we'll be seeing him back in this game, I think, before too long. They'll start this drive at the 31-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Number 25, lines up under center. Three receivers wide. He may have changed things up here. They'll throw on first down. He throws it. Catches it. And they tackle him at the 44. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. UTEP using an audible. He looks to throw on first down. Looks like he's going to run. Steps out of bounds around the 31-yard line. 13-yard gain on the play. From the 31-yard line, it's first down. Three wideouts here. Number 25 calls an audible. Looking to throw. Looking. He's going to try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. Great play by the defense. For that time, they came with the blitz, and the linebacker was able to get free and come away with the sack. 
Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Number 25 lines up under center. Number 25 adjusts the play at the line. Back to pass. Looking, he fires right side. This one falls to the turf, incomplete. Man, that was a solid hit to knock it loose. I thought he was going to hang on to the football. It looked like he caught it. He would have caught it if he didn't get hit like that. I give all the credit to the defender there. Houston brings in the nickel here. Texas El Paso changing their play. Setting up play action. Now he's scrambling. And now he's going to run. Big opening. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 18. And they get a nice gain on third down. Remember when we talked to the coach? He mentioned that he wanted to run the ball against this defense. And he felt that he may have some success. Well, they had some success on that play. First and 10. The Miners changing their play at the line. They'll throw on first down. He might not be able to get the pass off. They finally get to him, but now it's first and goal. So they get the first down, but not by much. Well, I think they're happy with the first down after he almost got stuffed in the backfield. Well, this kid showed great strength on that play to shed the tackle and make the first down. UTEP looking to go up by two scores. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He's scrambling. He throws. Number eight was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up second down. We've got second and goal. Six yards to the end zone. They come to the line in the flex bone formation. Try to change the play. He drops back. Can't find anyone open. He's rolling right, and he's tackled at the one-yard line. He scrambled for a few yards. That defense closed in a hurry. Uh-oh. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Number eight is the deep back as they line up in the eye. 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! Texas El Paso using an audible. Drops back to pass. Touchdown, Miners! So they call a pass, but he decided to tuck it in and run. And it was a good decision. I agree with you, Coach. He didn't want to throw into coverage and risk the interception down so close to the goal line. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. Number 25 is lined up under center. They're changing the play. Looking to pass. Scrambling around. Catches it. Now with a juke. The 50. And they bring him down at the 39-yard line. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. I agree with you 250%. 250% coach? Yep. 250%. That's a great call. He's changing things up. He drops back. He's going to try and scramble. Looks like he's going to run. Knocked out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. Number 25 steps to the line of scrimmage. Two tight ends in the formation. UTEP using an audible. Drops back on first down. Looks. He decides to run with it. He goes out of bounds at the 18. The 11-yard gain on the play. From the 18-yard line, first down. The Miners line up with two tight ends. Lucky 95. Try to change the play. They'll throw on first down. And they get the sack. The blitz worked on that play as they got to the quarterback. The linebacker's going to get credit here for the sack, but that was outstanding coverage downfield. The quarterback didn't have any options downfield, giving the linebacker time to make the play. That was a great call by the defense. 
bringing the pressure and leaving the quarterback with very few options. They line up at the 27. Second down. The Miners come out showing three wide. So that brings us to the end of the quarter, and at the end of three, our score, the Miners, 35, the Cougars, 24. They're calling an audible. Drops back to pass. Stepping up, rolls to the right. And now he's got room to run. He's knocked out of bounds around the 12-yard line. Pretty good run there by the quarterback. Yeah, he couldn't find anybody open downfield, so he made a good decision to take off, and he got some good yards out of it. UTEP lines up in a goal line set. Number 25 calls an audible. back on the run and it's knocked away now that's the way to get in there and break up the pass and more importantly coach texas el paso looking to make this a three score game utep is going with a flex bone offense try to change the play Drops back to pass. He scrambled. And down he goes. Right around the six-yard line. Well, he sure didn't burn the defense on that run. Yep. I think he needs to make wiser decisions back there. You hate to see a kid get injured out there. The Miners line up in the flex bone offense. He may have changed things up here. He drops back. Rose! Oh, boy, almost intercepted. That might be the biggest drop of the game so far. Yeah, he did a heck of a job in coverage. He just didn't finish the playoff. And that's why I guess he's not a wide receiver. The defense sets up in the nickel. UTEP using an audible. Drops back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. It's incomplete. Kirk, he threw that one right into coverage. Yeah, Brad, that is a card. They line up at the 34. First down. The Miners come out with the wing backs. They're in the flex bone. Lucky 95. UTEP changing their play. He looks to throw on first down. He's looking. He keeps it. Breaks one. And they push him out right around the 44-yard line. That's a 10-yard gain. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Three wideouts here. They're changing the play. Looking to throw. Stepping up. It's complete. Tackle at the 35. The quarterback just lasered that one down the field, coach. Yeah, and the defender had no shot at breaking that pass up. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Miners come out in a two tight end set. They're calling an audible. First down, look at the throw. He's under pressure. They'll make the sack. And they get a nice defensive play. Well, here's a play you don't see very often. That time they brought pressure from the corner position, and the line couldn't pick him up, and he was able to wrap the quarterback up for a sack. That's a good defensive call. Yep. 
the defense was able to just suffocate the offensive line and get to the quarterback. Great play. Number 25, lines up under center. Lucky UTEP using an audible. Back to pass. Can't find anyone open. He'll take it himself. He's knocked out of bounds around the 24-yard line. 15-yard gain on the play. First and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Miners come out with the wing backs. They're in the flex bone. UTEP changing their play. Drops back to pass. He guns it to the right. Caught. And he's hit immediately. Nice gain on the play. The ball was thrown perfectly. Good precision there. From the seven yard line. First down. The Miners line up in an eye formation. UTEP using an audible. to pass. Steps up in the pocket. It's complete. Touchdown, UTEP! And guys, that might just be the straw that broke the camel's back. Yep, the camel just couldn't handle all of this offense today. Yeah, coach, this offense performed about as well as expected. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. The Miners line up in the flex bone offense. Lucky Number 25 calls an audible. He looks to throw on first down. Fires. They knock it down. Incomplete. Good awareness defensively that time by the linebacker. Not only that, but as you saw, he also made a very athletic move to get to the ball. It's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Number 25 is lined up under center. He may have changed things up here. Drops back to pass. He rolls out to the right. He keeps it. He can scoot. He goes out of bounds at the 37. What a sensational running game we've seen today. Run it up the middle. Pitch it to him to the outside. Just give this kid the ball, and he's going to make something happen. Let me tell you, Coach, we're going to be talking about a new school rushing record if he can keep this up. First and ten. They come to the line in the flex bone formation. Lucky 95. UTEP changing their play. Drops back on first down. Long ball, right side. And it's incomplete. And that will stop the clock. Yeah, Brad, that doesn't make too much sense to me. You got the lead. Just run the football. Keep the clock running. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 37. Number 25. Lines up under center. Try to change the play. Back to pass. Scrambling around. He gets hit out of bounds. And for 32. I don't think that's how that play was designed. You know, that's what drives me crazy. Why would you run that ball out of bounds? Put your head down and try to get a few extra yards. They come out in a double wing. Lucky 95. He's changing things up. 98 weasel. 98 weasel. Back to pass. He's on the run. He's under pressure. He's tackled in the open field. Houston will call a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. And here's the Pontiac game-changing performance for today's game. 